In today's English lesson, you will learn 11 idioms that use the word walk. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today you will learn 11 idioms that use the word walk. There are many more than that. So I will have to make a part two of this lesson to teach you more another time. And yes, I realize that almost every time I've done a lesson with idioms, it's been 11. I don't know why it's worked out that way, but it's always 11. I didn't plan it that way. All right, number one, a walk in the park. If something is a walk in the park, it means it's very easy or fun to do. Uh, making these lessons about idioms is a walk in the park. Number two, cakewalk. This is also something that is easy to do. If you remember a while back, we I did an idioms uh, video about idioms about food, and I talked about something being a piece of cake, and that is also something easy. Number three, all walks of life. This means people with all different types of backgrounds, rich, poor, different racial groups, religions, everything, all different walks of life. A sample sentence is when you work in a grocery store, you see people from all walks of life. Number four, walk down the aisle. This means to get married, as in, I don't think she'll ever walk down the aisle again. In other words, you don't think she'll get married again. Number five is to take a walk down memory lane. This means to think about things that happened in the past, usually good things, as in looking at all those old pictures was like taking a walk down memory lane. Number six, walk a thin line. This means to do or say something in a very careful way so that you don't cause a problem by being too extreme in either of two opposite ways. A sample sentence is parents have to walk a thin line between letting their children explore the world yet keep them safe. Number seven is to walk a mile in someone's shoes. This means to try to understand what another person's life is like, especially if it is very different from yours. A sample sentence is, if he really wants to know what their life is like as immigrants, he should really try walking a mile in their shoes. Number eight, to walk all over someone. This means to treat someone in a bad way or take advantage of. A sample sentence is, I was really shy when I was younger and people walked all over me because of that. Number nine, walk into the lion's den. This means to go into a dangerous or bad situation on purpose. A sample sentence is, going into the meeting with all of the angry shareholders was like walking into the lion's den. Number 10 is, walk off the job which means to suddenly leave or quit or job or for union workers to go on strike. A sample sentence is the factory workers walked off the job last week. Number 11 is walk on sunshine. This means to feel really happy. Also, there was a song a long time ago by a group called Katrina and the Waves called Walking on Sunshine. If you do a search on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you can find that and you can hear that song. So a sample sentence of that uh, is, if I ever met him, I would be walking on sunshine. Now there's no quiz again this time, but I do have some homework for you again. I want you to use my LLRS method with this lesson to help you with listening and speaking skills. And if you don't remember what that is, that means to, to listen while looking at subtitles or sentences written out, and then to listen again without looking at the text and then to repeat what you just heard. And then S is to shadow or try to say the words as you're listening to a recording. And then, um, and then repeat all four of those steps as many times as necessary until you feel like you know the, the passage or the sentences that you're trying to learn really well. So what you can do is you can go through this lesson and find all the sample sentences yourself or you can click a link I will give you at the end of this video to go to a page with a list of all the sample sentences from the lesson 
and then you can download an mp3 with a recording of all them so that you can practice the LLRS method with them. And that's all for today's lesson, but before you go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet, so you know when I have more English lessons ready for you. In a few seconds, you can also sign up to get the MP3 that I talked about earlier. And then if you also still have some more time, you can watch some more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. When you walk in a grocery, when you work, and this is, did not rewrite these things, effortlessly or certain to be accomplished. Oh, I got it turned in there. Okay, that's not good. Down memory lane, I'm going to have to redo this because I can hear my dog licking herself in the background. <laughs>